Hello everybody. Now I've been teaching uh, a lot of Lego tutorials lately. I've had 20 tutorials now and this is the 21st. And um, I still haven't taught you how to make executable files run on other computers that don't have the C++ compiler or the runtime library on their computer. So this method, now there's many different methods of going about it. Now for my computer or my compiler it might be different than your compiler, right? So but the met it should be similar the same and I'll tell you the stuff that might be different depending on your compiler. If this doesn't work for you, just tell me um your compiler and tell me the errors you got and um I'll set up a method to help you out. Because this is a this sometimes it does not work for everybody but it should work so let's get started um I got this little project whatever I'm not it's not really anything special it's just a box that moves so um what you want to do is go to right click your project go to your solution explorer right click your project and go to project properties and in you and you'll see in configuration properties and just so you know I'm using Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition so if your compiler is different it probably might have a different layout but you have to go to configuration properties C++ C slash C++ then code generation and you should see something called the runtime library right so if your compiler is different just search for the runtime library in your project properties, okay? And uh, by default, it might be multi-threaded DLL. You want to change it to multi-threaded debug. Now, in some compilers, you can just change it to multi-threaded. If you change it to multi-threaded, then it's um the same thing. So, well, not the same thing, but I do multi-threaded compile it. See, sometimes it doesn't work. See, that doesn't work for me. Uh, for some reason, I try to run it. So then, what I would do, it depends on which one works for you. Choose any one that works for you, right? So multi-thread doesn't work for me, so I'll change back to multi-threaded debug, and then I'll compile this. Make sure you compile it. Cause if you build it. Um, it might do a whole bunch of errors, but when you compile it, it doesn't for some reason. So make sure you compile it. And your game should pop up. And I'll exit it. So once you've compiled it, then it means it created the exe. So, uh, let's go, uh, to your projects folder. So where you save the project. Okay. Now, my projects in C++ projects, and then my project name was Allegro Tut. And you'll see a debug folder as soon as you click it. Now, if you click Allegro Tut again, you'll see another debug folder. It's not that one. It's the first one, right? So click debug. And as you'll see, um, you won't see a ledge 42 in there or this in there. What you'll see is just the exe file, this file, this file, the pdb file. Now, to make your game able to run on other computers, you have to uh, put in a ledge42.dll in there. Now, for some people, that's all you need, right? And then it'll run on any computer. But I guess because the comp um, this compiler is made by Microsoft, and they don't have the the runtime the Microsoft runtime library. For me, if um if I just have a ledge 42, it won't work. For me, I need this file, the msvcr100.dll. Now, if your compiler is older, say you're using Visual um C++ 2008, then you might need an msvcr 90 or 80 or something, right? So what I would advise you to do is forget about this file and try and run this program with just a ledge 42 on a different computer right 
Then if it doesn't work, then it'll give you an error message saying any other file you need. So what you have to do is search for this file on your computer in the system32 file and then just include in the same folder and just run it and it should work. So uh hope this helped and I'm gonna be making another video on this because if you have bitmaps and stuff on your um program, it's the same process but the exe file can't be in this folder. It has to be in a different folder in order to um find your files. Alright? So uh hope this worked for you. Thanks for watching and bye.